right, folks, welcome back to the McFly Files, episode seven. This week, we hit 100 shows, um, and we actually, we've actually done um, more than 100 shows. We did 30 previews, uh, but uh, this is 100 performances since opening. I, I can't believe it. This is a miracle. I'm so happy, but this week, I'm going to take you through my routine and um, what I do uh, to do the show. Don't suck! Don't you suck again! You suck all the time, don't suck again! You're a movie character, you're from the 80s, you sing high, you make the voice cracked, and, 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 don't suck! Oh crap, I don't know if my camera's record. I don't think I was supposed to record that last bit. Yes! Billy! What are you wearing? Casey, I spilled coffee on my shirt and my pants. So this is all you had? Well, thank God I had this in my locker. I would have had to have borrowed a costume from the show. Could you imagine how embarrassing that would be? <laughs> and how are you tonight? <laughs> Hi, we're like here, we're like, oh, okay, tomorrow. Wow, you're getting straight. It's amazing. Marty, you good? Hi, <laughs> Wayne. What's up, bro? You good? <laughs> you good? Hi, Wayne. Stop. Fucking oh. crying, you're gonna look beautiful. Shh! You know it doesn't hurt! Mama! Shh! Mama. You look great. It's not that hot! Mama! It's not that hot! Alright folks, so this is the start of my daily routine. So I wake up in my beautiful apartment, I either order food or I go get food. I'm gonna go get food right now from Chipotle. And, um, and then I also check on uh, how I look in the mirror. Not great. But hey, that's the life of being a leading man on Broadway. I don't look great most days because I keep to myself. I have to relax and kind of keep it easy throughout um, the week and days. Most of the time, just so I can have my energy for the show. So I do like normal things like get food and go to the park and stuff like that. Um, and today's activity is getting back into my apartment because I just left my phone on the counter. And that's how I get in my apartment. All right, strong starts of the day. Got the phone. Oh, oh, the camera's focusing on something in the distance. Oh, weird, man. That's so weird. Hey, no, no, focus on me. What are you looking at in the back? Weird. You know, uh, I hope somebody doesn't recognize me. It usually happens, just uh, just wait, just give it a moment. Now, my Chipotle order includes sour cream, queso, and cheese. If you've ever heard, that's great for your voice. That's sarcasm. It's actually all horrible for your voice. However, because I do eight shows a week on Broadway, uh, there's just no way to avoid uh, that <laughs> any foods that are going to be bad for your voice. So you kind of just have to learn how to sing around whatever might affect you, including uh, sicknesses and whatever, so I don't worry too much about what I eat uh, throughout the week, other than my extreme diet and dietary needs. But it's got protein, and there's sugar in that, so the energy will be high tonight. Oh, I'm being blinded. Uh, if you ever wanted to escape my face as a previous enemy of me, uh, now is not the time to visit New York. Um... Sorry, what'd you say? Where's Casey Likes? I'm right here. I know I didn't sign in. I'm so sorry. Um... Sorry. No, it's... No, no, it's... My name's right there. I... I can do it right now. Are yes, I'm sorry. Here, here, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm here. Only two minutes late. Oh. We just got here. There's a lot going on in my room a uh, half hour. We got Ted checking in on me. Ched, Ted, you know, our, our music director. Oh, yeah. um, all sound great? You sound great. Thank you, Ted. We'll talk about it later. Okay. That's him saying I sound horrible. No, uh, absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm going to put my mic in my mic belt. It goes over my shoulders like this and then around my stomach. Now, these top two things are actually not where you put the mic packs. They're where we put these things called... Um, Zach trackers, which legitimately helps some of the spotlights stay on me, which is amazing. It's the technology of the future. 
Really? What do I do when I go to places? Okay, you go to places, and do you go do your thing running down the stairs, and then I come down here, and I sing the whole way. Did he take his glasses? Does he have his glasses? Yes, he has his glasses. I forgot at one time. He's such a good, but one time. Uh, one time this week. Uh, <laughs> he's such a good boy. <laughs> it's always, I, I come in here, and I check for your glasses and your watch. And you're very good, but you're not, you're not, not always. Not perfect. Not great. Also, uh, you said you had a lie? I, I'm so I'm so sorry. I have to sit down. Somebody upstairs has 17 chinchillas in cages in their dressing room. All I gotta say is you got 17 chinchillas in cages in your room. You're about to make a coat, Corella Deville. Oh my God, they're creepy little eyes when look at you. And if you think wardrobe's gonna clear after that after them damn things, you got another thing coming. Thank you, Billy. This is me before the show. You'll see me at intermission. And this is me at um at intermission. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take off this shirt and this pants as I've done a quick change, and um, um, and I'm gonna sit here in the freezing cold room that I've made for myself, and I'm going to try to revive myself. All right, act two fit. Uh, this is the one song that I am not on stage for, and I have to go right now. This is wild. So Joshua Kenneth Allen Johnson is playing uh, Marvin Berry and Goldie Wilson today. So we got on this side them running this. We have Sam over here running um, Nick Drake's part, which is a part that he's never played before. It's a big day in Back to the Future Land. <laughs> excited because this is maybe the closest I'll ever get to interviewing a Doc Brown. So, uh, Blakely, you're Doc Brown today. I am. What was the last track you were on for? Uh, yesterday, Dave McFly. Yesterday afternoon. I think you're the only person on earth that can play both Dave McFly and Doc Brown in a weekend. It would seem to be that way. I don't know if I'm the only person, but I am the current person <laughs> it's, that has it's, the envious task of maintaining that job. It's actually wild that you can both be 18 and how, how old is Doc? Uh, in his mid-30s, <laughs> mid 80s, and then closer to 60 in, uh, or lies, 30s in the 50s, 50s, 60s in the 80s. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. Okay, so we have a creepy crawl, which is a bar crawl, but it's it's a bar crawl in the building where everyone has themed rooms, and we're all dressed up for Halloween. So I'm, uh, hopefully you can guess by the sparkles. Can you even see the sparkles? I'm Edward Cullen. I'm trying my best. Kenneth Allen Johnson! Oh, wait, um, my reference photo, baby. Oh! <laughs> it's so good. Thank you. We come to AMC theaters to love. AOC theaters. Heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Welcome to the Apple Orchard. I'd like to introduce my friends. Here's Pink Lady. Hi. Here's Red Delicious. I'm Golden Delicious. And you can't forget, Granny Smith. Granny Smith. <laughs> I bet Will Brander's doing something hot and sexy. Steve, where's my wife, Steve? No way. <laughs> Blues Clues? Where's yeah. Steve? <laughs> Danny Wade from Mean Girls? Nope, never heard of her. Whoa! Never. Well, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Oh, don't take my I look tired, I can tell. I look tired, right? You can tell. No! Get your meat hooks off me. Thank you so much for speaking with us, um, uh, actor. Um, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, I. I have received a lot of questions as to why you have chosen to remain anonymous in this series of vlogs. Well, first of all, Katie, I appreciate you. It's Casey. I appreciate you uh, adding the voice disguising uh, mechanism in order to obscure uh, my identity, as you must realize. My point of view is probably an, is probably in the minority. Um, but I do feel that sometimes too much exposure of backstage life often can compromise some of the magic that I feel like happens in the theater. And so I appreciate you allowing Roger, me. Roger, here's your lab coat. Oh, thanks, thanks, Bill. One of the best dressers on Broadway for many years now. <clears throat> so thank you, and uh, 
you know, let's just be cautious. 100 shows. We've done 100 shows. We did it 100 times. <laughs> hey, Ted. Hi. Wow, a lot of people middle. joining the celebration. One more? Okay. The celebration. Okay. We got moving people on. from the house. House crew, what's up, y'all? Nick Drake. New cults. 100. 100 shows, You've mate. You've done a little more than 100. In good old Manhattan town. Oh. Oh my God, we made it to 10 shows. Ten, ten. No, 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 no. No, Nick, that, that's 100. There's another zero behind me. That's the decimal point. The, the, that's not a decimal point. Come on, Fran, you and me. Wow, there's a lot of people here. All right, let's go. Okay, dance, sing. Sing, dance. Oh, hey, Ray. Why isn't she singing and dancing? Why won't she sing and dance? Why are you taking pictures with the 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 balloons? Oh, these? Yeah. Oh, I just got a hundred more followers today. So you got a hundred more? No, no, no. That's not what that. I get the balloons. <clears throat> no, that's no, not what that. Get the followers, you get the balloons. Ah, uh, happy one hundredth. Can I 100. just call down? Oh, jeez. Is that Amber? Why is it Prince? What the? Okay, we're at Broadway Sessions right now, and this is where a lot of Broadway people come to perform. And we are having a Back to the Future night where we play games and we get to perform, and it's really fun. Pretty woman! Pretty woman! Pretty woman! Pretty woman! Pretty woman! <laughs> Mr. Saturday Night. Mr. Saturday Night. Mr. Saturday Night. Mr. Saturday night. This is post show for me, so I'm very tired. And part of my routine is um, I'm just trying to eat anything, and the kitchen's closed, so I'm eating chips. But it's okay. Right. folks last night was a blast and uh, I went to sleep after our um, Broadway sessions and then I'm, I'm back up it's it's 908 in the morning and we're doing New York living uh, we got Taylor over here Taylor did my makeup and my hair she always kills and um, I'm doing this with with Hugh Cole so let's go do the news all right we are at pix 11 studios right now uh, he, Hello. We're going to go on in a few seconds. Uh, Fit check. We've realized that in every interview, we're in the same colors. <laughs> I'm always in black and white, and he's always in a shade of like brown. Like a biscuit. I'm sort of like, I'm giving you biscuit tin. <laughs> Is that an American expression? Biscuit tin. Do you say biscuit tin? No. But you have biscuits, but you, you, you have them like, you're, you're like... Um, they put them in tins? Yes, that's like, that's our culture. They put them in Popeyes for us. <laughs> no, I'm talking to... <laughs> It's just in Back to the Future on Broadway. Buy tickets now. And coming up next, 
how to eat a cookie without spilling crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. All right, folks, that is it for episode seven of the McFly Files. Thank you for sticking with me, and I hope you enjoyed my routine. It's uh, just a, it's the busy life of uh, whatever I do, um, and I hope it was exciting enough for you. <laughs> um, uh, well, we have one episode left. This is, um, I might cry. Um, anyways, this has been great. I can't wait for the last episode, and I'm so glad that you've been joining me this whole time. Um, so until then, we're out of time. Bye, y'all.